Welcome to Understand. This is Jordan with Scientific Toolworks. If you're already a user of Understand, this is probably something you've discovered for yourself. But in case you hadn't, or you're new to Understand, I'm going to introduce you to one of the most powerful features, the context menu. In this video, we'll go over how to bring up the context menu and what types of things you can access from it. Here I've got one of our C sample projects open to start with. To access the context menu, all you have to do is right click anywhere and understand to pull up a, you guessed it, context sensitive menu that displays any action you may want to take with your selection. To pull up the context menu for a single entity, let's say this function submatch here, you'll want to right click on it and look for the entity to become highlighted, meaning we have the right context menu brought up. At this point, a large portion of Understand's features is right at our fingertips. We can pull up the information browser like so, create any graph that works for this type of entity, view its dependencies, and access the API info on it. We can also edit it, add it to our favorites, compare it, add it to an architecture, and so much more. In my case, I'm going to search for uses of the function in this file alone. So let's access the context menu again, and then we'll go to find in, find submatch in open files, press find, and there we go. I can see everywhere the function name was used in this file. Now, I've been using the context menu from the editor window, but what about other areas? Well, the menu will work in just about any window within Understand. Let's try to access the context menu for submatch from a few different places. If we go over to the information browser and right click submatch, or any other highlighted entity for that matter, sure enough, we'll have access to the context menu. Let's say I want to copy the full path of the file where submatch was defined to use as a command line argument. I'll either look for the defined in right below it or within the list of references. So let's look at the references. We can see that it's defined in egrep.c and egrep.c is highlighted. So we'll right click it and select copy full name. From here, I'm free to paste it in my command line and use it. And there's an even faster way to access a file's context menu. Right clicking any white space in the editor while you're on the file of interest will bring up the context menu for that file as well. So since we're already looking at egrep.c here in the editor, if I just right click anywhere, we're gonna be able to see the context menu for the file. So if I view information, it changes the information browser to show the information for egrep.c. You can also access the context menu from the entity filter or project browser, like so. If we go to the entity filter over here, we look for submatch, right click it, and let's pull up the metrics for submatch from here. Browse metrics, and there we go. So as you can see, the power of the context menu is almost always one click away. How about non-entities though? Well, they have a context menu as well. Let's use the keyword if from this if statement here. Bringing up the context menu will reveal everything we can do with this keyword. As you can see, though it's not an entity, there are still several actions we can take with it, such as commenting it out, changing its case, or finding uses of the keyword throughout the file or the project. So this was a short video on how to use the context menu in Understand. In this video, we covered how to bring up the menu and what types of things we can access with it. Hopefully it's clear how this relatively simple feature is incredibly powerful and could speed up your workflow tremendously in certain situations. For more information on the context menu or any other piece of Understand, visit support.sidetools.com.